What do you say we go out for another little test flight of the Skydio 2, this time using the Skydio controller? Now I still think the beacon is probably the thing I'm going to like the most, which is kind of why I'm saving it for last, but today I just want to try the controller. And unlike last time where I kind of narrated the whole thing and you can see me messing with the cell phone while I walked next to it, this time I'm just going to try and take it out for a flight, see what I can capture probably going to just set it to some music, include three or four minutes of it here, so it's not too long or too boring of a video, just to see what this will do. My hopes are that it will fly between the trees and around trees well enough to avoid any mishaps that might happen with a DJI type drone. With the FPV drone and the goggles, it's a lot easier to see exactly where it's going, but looking at a cell phone or a controller, it's a little bit more difficult and getting close to trees is something I typically wouldn't do with this style of drone, but I think the Skydio is gonna be very capable. Now, I'm not gonna try and fly it into any trees just to test the obstacle avoidance. I'm gonna to try to avoid them, but hopefully the obstacle avoidance will give me enough confidence that I can do that smoothly and easily. And then maybe for part of the flight, we'll fly at treetop level and see what that looks like.
That still really impresses me that it'll land on the case like that. So really, I'm pretty impressed with how well that did. This is certainly not as responsive as a DJI type drone. With those things, if you let go of the sticks, it will self-correct and it will stop and stay exactly where you stopped it. This continues to drift a little bit, not bad, and it is a little bit windy. I got a high wind warning at one point there, so flying it up about two or 300 feet, it's a little bit too windy. Flying it at treetop level or just below, it wasn't too bad at all, and certainly flying 10 or 15 feet off the ground, it was just fine through the trees. So all in all, I'm very impressed. I think this has some real potential for getting really nice, stable in the tree shots, a little bit more stable than the FPV style drone with the GoPro. Perhaps not as exciting a shot. So each drone is gonna have their ideal places. If I were doing rooftop inspections or just trying to get the most stable photography, the DJI drone is clearly gonna be the way to go for the most acrobatic, the most intricate surgical precision flying, not that I'm capable of that, but some people are, the FPV drone would be better. But in between, I think the Skydio is going to be great. And I think all those tracking features are really going to be cool. And maybe the next time we get it out, we'll get the trike out, we'll take the beacon, we'll take the Skydio, and we will go see what it will do someplace where there aren't power lines. While I'm flying it and I can see the power lines in the screen, that's not so bad, I can adjust to that. I can make sure I'm not getting anywhere near them. But when it's tracking and it comes to power lines, it may or may not see them depending on how big they are. And it looks like most of the people that crash their Skydios crash it because it got too close to a power line. So I'm gonna to try to avoid that. And there's lots of power lines that crisscross around Beulah. But that is all I've got for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video and we will see you for the next one.